morning my dear students of class 4 how are you hope you all are well and stay your home now so boys today is monday and the date is 19th april 2021 and this is our geography class at last class we shall start the chapter 3 of our geography book so today we shall start the next part of the chapter 3 so boys all of you open your geography book now so boys today's first topic is season at first we know what is season I know you all know about the season but I recollect this once again a season is a period of the year that is distinguished by special climate conditions we all know we have six seasons but now we know about the four seasons these are spring summer monsoon and winter follow one another regularly each has its own light temperature and weather patterns that repeat yearly now we know the winter season winter in india starts from early december and continues till the end of february January is the coldest month average temperature in peninsular India is around 25 degrees celsius while in the northern plains it is between 10 degrees celsius and 15 degrees celsius also in northern india however there is light rainfall during winter this is caused by the cyclonic storms which originated in the mediterranean sea and travel the words india these winds are called western disturbances boys you all see the map you can see what is the western disturbance they cause heavy snowfall in the higher altitudes of the himalayas and rainfall in the plains they often result in a cold wave in northern india so boys you all remember the western disturbances know about the summer season the summer starts from march and continues till june the northern plains record the highest temperatures and hence it is a zone of pressure The, the Deccan Plateau is comparatively cooler due to its altitude and the influence of the sea. The hills have a pleasant climate. So this is the summer season. In this season, several local storms occurred in different parts of India. The hot, dry, and dusty winds called lu blow over the northern plains. So remember the lu. Kalbushaki occurs in West Bengal and Assam and the other things mango showers occur along coastal Kerala and Karnataka this helps in the early ripening of mangoes so there we see the three new terms that is lu kalbushaki and mango showers no about the monsoon season this season starts from june and continues till the end of september by the end of may northern and northwestern india becomes extremely hot as a result the low pressure zone over this region becomes very strong high pressure area exists over the seas which are relatively cool from the high pressure areas move towards the low pressure area blowing over the indian ocean arabian sea and the bay of bengal these winds carry a lot of moisture on striking against the mountains and hills they cause heavy rainfall over india since these winds enter india from the southwest they are called southwest monsoon most parts of india receive rainfall during this season so boys you all see the map and you can see the arrow that is the southwest monsoon wind so for this reason we see the southwest monsoon and for this reason heavy rainfall causes in india in the annual cycle of seasons monsoon is the most important 
which provides a seasonal rhythm. It is a unifying factor as it affects the lives of all the Indian people. India being an agricultural country, her economy is greatly influenced by monsoon. So although India gets sufficient rainfall, there is always a shortage of water. This is mainly because rains fall only for a few months of the year. The monsoons are very well known for their uncertainties and irregularities as well. Heavy rainfall causes flood, while scanty rainfall can cause droughts. So boys, you all know why the flood is occurred and why the droughts is occurred. We know the climatic regions of India. You can see the map and you can see there are so much color. So the purple color is highland climate. The deep yellow that is yellow ochre is the humid subtropical climate. The red color is the semi-arid or semi-dry climate. The lemon yellow is arid or dry climate and the light green is the tropical wet and dry climate and the button green is the tropical wet climate. So we can see the six type of climatic regions in our India. Based on the difference in climate, India can be divided into six climatic regions. The first one is tropical wet, hot summers with very heavy rains during monsoon. Number two, tropical wet and dry, hot summers, heavy rains in monsoon and a dry winter. Southeastern coastal region has rains during winter. Number three, arid, hot summers, little or no rains during monsoon and a cold winter. Number four, semi-arid, hot summers, rain, then the arid region, cool winter in summer region. Highland, cold summers, rain during monsoon and a very cold winter. And the last one is humid subtropical. That is, hot summers, monsoon rains are heavier in the east than in the west. A cool winter, hills are colder. So boys, this is our the third chapter. And if you have any problem regarding this chapter, you can call me or sending messages through my WhatsApp. So boys, this is our the completed chapter of first summative evaluation of geography class.